And we are back again. Welcome back to the channel. This is Bitcoin and Crypto's Bear Market Price Update, episode 82. And there's a lot to talk about today. There's a lot of that's happening in the cryptocurrency market. So we are going to cover as much as Welcome we can. Welcome back to the channel. All right, finally, here we go. All right, welcome, 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 guys. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome, welcome. Again, Bitcoin and Crypto's Bear Market Price Update, episode 82. And there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot of this happening in the cryptocurrency market. But first and foremost, if you are watching the World Cup, we have our first finalist, Argentina. Argentina is heading to the final. Uh, Argentina just beat Croatia 3-0. Uh, uh, huge congratulations to anyone who's from Argentina. You know, I actually think that Argentina is going to win the World Cup. Uh, this has been my prediction, you know, since the beginning of this World Cup. Uh, amazing team, uh, amazing player. You have, uh, you know, you have Messi, you have, you know, a few other amazing players. And I think Argentina should be able to get the job done. But again, uh, welcome back. Uh, I am, you know, very excited. Uh, the market is green, you know, $17,765. That is the price of Bitcoin right now. Uh, $1,319. That is the price of Ethereum right now. And you can see the entire screen. You know, almost everything is in green today. Uh, but we are going to talk about, you know, Binance coin. Uh, BNB. Is something that we need to talk about. Uh, if you watch many of my recent updates on, you know, BNB, uh, you know exactly what I think about this project. Uh, I gave you guys potential price targets, but uh, there's a lot of things happening around Binance. Uh, Binance, the exchange. We need to talk about Binance. There's a lot of thing happening. There's a lot of things happening around Binance. And this is this is not something to this is not something to play with. Uh, this is something that we definitely need to be uh, we need to be cautious because if Binance goes down, if Binance goes down, this can push the entire crypto industry, you know, back between five to 10 years. Binance is the last, is the last exchange that you want to go under. There's a, again, there's a lot of noise around Binance. So we, you know, we definitely need to talk about Binance. And if you have your funds on Binance, I will highly, highly recommend that you remove at least 95% of your funds from Binance. And that includes Binance US. So if you have any funds on Binance, you know, even if you are just trading, I would highly, highly recommend that you remove, you know, at least 95 of your, uh, 95 percent of your funds from Binance. And again, that includes Binance US. Uh, but welcome back. Hope you guys are having an amazing Tuesday. Uh, if this is your first time, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure that you are liking the video because it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you have any project that you would like me to analyze, uh, make sure that you put them in the comment section. Uh, button. Uh, make sure that you make sure you put them in the comment section, guys. If you have uh, 
you know any project that you would like me to analyze uh but again welcome back welcome back uh, i miss you guys uh, it's been uh you know it's been a couple of days since i last did a live stream so you know this one right here we are going to try to cover as much as we can uh we will analyze you know bitcoin ethereum and many of your favorite old coins uh and of course as always if you have any project that you would like me to analyze put them in the comment section all right let me see what we have so far uh, for some reason, I'm losing my voice today. <clears throat> what is going on? Uh, it is it is great to see some green again. It's great to see a green market. All right, so um, if you actually watched my my recent update on um on you know the entire cryptocurrency market i talked about where i thought was going to happen towards the end of december uh so you can check it out this update right here on ethereum uh polka dot you know bitcoin of course I talked about a potential, you know, Santa Claus rally. Uh, Bitcoin potentially pushed to, you know, pushing to around eighteen thousand and five hundred dollars, and Ethereum potentially pushing towards thirteen hundred dollars and fourteen hundred dollars. And here we are today. You know, Bitcoin is basically retesting eighteen thousand dollars. You have Ethereum that just broke above thirteen hundred dollars. And if we see a continuation of this rally, you know, in the next uh, couple of days before the end of December, you know, an $18,000 Bitcoin, a $1,400 Ethereum, and a nice rally in the altcoin market will absolutely not surprise me. It is happening right now, and it can absolutely carry on for the remainder of December. So, if you if you have a position you know congratulations to you but just make sure that you check it out you know these updates right here because i did you know i did give uh you know potential price targets where i think we are going to see a lot of profit taking this is not this right here is not the beginning of another bull market it is a Personally, I feel like it is another bear market rally. And if we do approach areas of resistance, uh, and I gave you those targets in these updates right here, we are going to see a lot of profit taking. So, you know, check it out, these updates right here. And uh, if you have any comments, uh, just, you know, leave a comment. I tend to read most of the comments and I tend to reply to all of the comments. So let me know your thoughts on, you know, my price targets towards the end of the year. And if you have, you know, any specific project that you would like me to look at, make sure that you put them in the comment section. So without wasting any more of your time, guys, let's talk about what's happening in the cryptocurrency market let's talk about what's happening in the cryptocurrency market and i will give you guys my um my thoughts at the end so huge huge breaking news there's a lot of noise you know maybe maybe it's not noise but there's a lot of conversation around Binance right now. And when we talk about Binance, uh, we are basically talking about the largest cryptocurrency exchange. Uh, you need to be cautious if you use Binance. You need to be cautious. 
but this if binance was to go under uh this would be extremely bearish for the entire cryptocurrency market and i truly believe that any of the progress that we've made in the last you know just a little over 10 years because bitcoin has been around you know since 2008 so any progress that we've made in the last you know 10 years excuse me guys so any any progress that we've made in the last you know 10 years i am you know afraid that we can you know push all that back you know at least 5 years back so this is something that you definitely need to look into uh, you know, you definitely need to do your research, uh, make educated decision. But I would highly, highly recommend that if you have any funds, uh, especially if you have a lot of money on Binance, I would highly recommend that you take you know at least ninety five percent of your funds off Binance. So you know, there's a lot of talk around you know Binance, and uh, you know recently an audit was conducted and he was concluded the binance did not pass so again if you have your funds on binance i would highly highly recommend that you remove you know 95 percent of your funds off binance uh this is you know, one of uh, one of the gentlemen that I, that lost a lot of money in FTX, and I think this is a really nice tweet. Uh, so not trying to you know fear monger, but it has to be said: if you have assets on Binance or Binance US, take them all off now. Don't wait. Also, if you are holding BUSD. You should sell that immediately. This is coming from a guy that lost a ton on FTX because I misjudged the exact same setup. Again, I will highly, highly recommend that you remove 95% of your funds on Binance if you do use the exchange. This is something that I talked about for many, many months on this channel. This is, you know, BNB right here. And we're looking at the market cap, you know, of BNB. Uh, and this is a really nice thread that I will definitely highly recommend uh, that you guys check it out from Dylan. Uh, so let me a, pes uh, a pessimist. But all I see is a whole lot of hot air. Uh, 9x in two months during the bull market with barely a retracement. I want to take a look at the chart of Binance coin. And again, this is something that I've talked about for the last couple months. I gave you guys, you know, potential price targets. I talked about the fact that if Binance was to lose $180 if Binance was to lose this support right here. There is absolutely nothing that would stop this token from dropping all the way down to around $45. Because if you look at this, this run up right here, guys, there is no retracement right here. And something that is going to be healthy. Uh, you know, something that is going to be sustainable. This is not what you want to see. You know, you want to see slow and steady. Uh, you want to see these retracements right here. But if you look at the performance of Binance in, uh, you know, late 2020, from $45, you know, all the way up to $700. And this is a straight line right here, guys. The only time we had a retracement, it was in early 2021. When we had that, you know, fifty percent drop in Bitcoin, and we saw many altcoins 
drop 60 70 percent you know this is the only time we had a meaningful retracement if you go all the way back here you know from 45 dollars all the way up to 700 dollars but you don't really have anything right here guys so you know you can see you know dylan is talking about it he's talking about it so 9x in two months you know during the bull run with barely a retrace 10x against bitcoin since 2021 i mean this is absolutely ridiculous guys and you can see the market cap uh, market cap of binance coin goes from five billion dollars uh, two billion dollars excuse me all the way up to 95 billion dollars so if we do get a proper retracement this is a token that could potentially drop all the way back to around you know five billion dollar market cap and again if you look at the chart it is very very clear if you look at the monthly time frame it's even more clear right here you have this support right here around 180 dollars and right after that you don't have anything else until you get down to around 45 dollars so i want you guys to be extremely cautious and if you are accumulating you know binance coin uh just make sure that you set up some stop loss uh just in case we do break this level right here and start to retrace you know to 45 dollars because you don't want to be the person you know if you get in right here back to 80 uh back to 180 dollars you know you're looking at a 30 percent drop but if we go all the way down to around 45 dollars you know you're looking at an 80 percent drop so you don't want to be the person that is going to see an 80 percent drop in the next couple of months uh, i want you guys to be cautious you know, I want you guys to be cautious because I really believe that we are going to see a final capitulation. And if we do get a final capitulation, an 80% drop in Binance, uh, you know, Binance token is definitely more likely. Speaking of Binance, within the, you know, within the last 24 hours, you know, $2 billion has left the exchange and that's because you know a lot of people have learned their lesson and i think we are going to see you know a lot of more money that is going to continue leaving binance uh both you know binance.com and binance us but again we don't want Binance to go under. The last thing we want to see, guys, is Binance going under. Because if Binance ends up like FTX or any of you know these companies that recently filed for bankruptcy, this could be you know the end of the cryptocurrency market for a very 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 long time you know forget about a three-year bear market you know this could potentially be a five to ten years of a bear market so you know we definitely have to you know be careful about you know what we are wishing for uh my you know on my wish list for christmas right now is for you know, Binance to not be insolvent, uh, you know, to continue operating, you know, for the remainder of this bull market, uh, for the remainder of this bear market and into uh, the new bull market. 
something else to also talk about uh we have ftx 75 million dollars worth of ftx political donations is a risk of being recalled due to bankruptcy i would like the 75 million dollars to be returned uh, i would like you know the customers to get the 75 million dollars so let's see where this is where this is going to go uh, of course you know you have crypto.com that recently released proof of reserves and so far things are looking very good uh showing above 100 percent for bitcoin and you know ethereum and you can see it right here but last but not least guys in terms of breaking news f b uh sbf has been arrested he has been charged uh let's see what the charge what they charge him with uh so u.s pr prosecutors say uh sbf made illegal political campaign donation worth tens of millions of dollars uh that's not what i'm looking for uh, i know he's been charged uh let's see oh here it is uh sec uh sec charges sbf with um let's go into the article So he was charged with, uh, I think I saw it somewhere right here, anti-fraud provisions. Uh, what else? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, SBF was accused of breaking the anti-fraud provisions of the Security Act 1933 and the Securities Exchange Act of 1934 as per the SEC complaint. The SEC complaint calls for uh, SBF to... So he's been charged, uh, more likely going to be prosecuted. Uh, I think this is, you know, very bullish, of course. The price might not go up, but uh, he, he needs to be locked up. He definitely needs to be locked up. So that is what I have. In terms of breaking news, uh, the biggest thing is, you know, the fact that, you know, there's a lot of talk around Binance. Uh, people are super, super nervous. Two billion dollars has already left the exchange. And I think we are going to see, you know, a lot of more money exit the exchange. But if you want to be bullish on crypto, and if you want to see another bull market in the next couple of years, you know, the last, the last thing we want to see is Binance going under. Uh, Binance needs to continue operating. Uh, Binance currently hold around $60 billion. $60 billion. That is customer's money. 60 billion dollars this is the largest cryptocurrency exchange so if binance was to be another cryptocurrency exchange that filed for bankruptcy this can easily push the crypto industry back five or ten years And other than that, guys, uh, make sure that you are subscribing if you are joining us right now. And if you have any project that you would like me to analyze, put them in the comment section. All right. So it's time now to you know, look at the chart and analyze many of your favorite projects. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so let's start with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is right now at seventeen thousand uh, seven hundred and thirty dollars. 
looking at the monthly time frame, we are still in a downtrend, uh, which tells me that we are still in a bear market. Looking at the weekly time frame, uh, we are still in a downtrend, which again tells me that we are still in a bear market. Now, if we look at if we look at the lower time frame, we have a really nice rally. If you look at the lower time frame, uh, four hour Bitcoin has already broke above the twenty one EMA, uh, which of course is you know very bullish in the short term. Uh, let's take a look at the fifty EMA on the four hour. Uh, we have also broke above the 50 EMA on the four hour, which also again is very bullish. And we have the 21 EMA above the 50 EMA. So this is looking good right now, you know, at least in the short term. Uh, looking at the MACD on the four hour, we have a very bullish MACD in bullish territory. Uh, looking at the four hour RSI, uh, four hour RSI is, you know, right now extremely, extremely overbought. So, you know, a pullback is definitely needed, uh, but, I, but this is going to be, you know, a huge opportunity if you are trading Bitcoin and if you are going to try to speculate in the short term. So, Areas that I'm interested in is right down here around $17,300. So that is a retest towards the 21 EMA on the four hour time frame. And if we can come back down and retest $17,300, you are going to see a lot of buyers right in this range right here, guys. As long as we bounce, uh, as long as we bounce off seventeen thousand and three hundred dollars, we are going to see a continuation of this uptrend. Uh, if you look back to right here, if you look back right here, guys, uh, back to November twenty second, this is the beginning of our current uptrend. Uh, so you can see right here, uh, we finally put in new lows. We had a nice move up to seventeen thousand. Uh, excuse me, sixteen thousand six hundred and fifty dollars. We had a nice pullback. Then we had another. Uh, we had another push to the upside. Two cow our recent high. A sixteen thousand and six hundred dollars. I put in new highs right here, and then we had another pullback down to retest the previous highs around sixteen thousand and six hundred dollars. We were able to hold as a support, and we saw another push higher. Uh, took out our previous highs right here around seventeen thousand and three hundred dollars, and this is exactly. What you want to see from, you know, a sustainable rally. Uh, these pullbacks right here, you know, you don't want to take out uh, the previous highs. And the next move to the upside, you know, you always want to take out uh, the previous highs right here. And you want to see a continuation of that. So you have, you know, higher highs, lower highs, higher highs, lower highs, and you have a continuation of lower highs after, uh, excuse me, uh, higher lows after higher lows. So you have a higher low right here. You have another higher low right here. So this pullback, uh, excuse me, we just got another one right here, another higher low. So this pullback right here, you know, we'll put in another higher low. And as long as we stay above, you know, this level right here, we are more likely to see a continuation of this uptrend and uh you know the next leg up would definitely you know retest eighteen thousand dollars and it won't surprise me 
if we actually push all the way up to, you know, eighteen thousand and five hundred dollars, because that is, you know, a target that I'm looking at, you know, in terms of where the price of Bitcoin, you know, is to be by the end of this December. Uh, the reason why eighteen thousand and eighteen thousand five hundred dollars is because as soon as you approach eighteen thousand dollars, you have some very very important resistance on the weekly time frame, and right above that, you also have, you know, eighteen thousand and five hundred dollars. And as you guys may remember, if you go back when Bitcoin you know, spent many, many weeks trading around $20,000, coming down to retest $18,000. Uh, you guys may remember that $18,500 was a level we retested many, many times. We had our first retest right here, you know, July 1st. We had our second retest right here, September 7th. We had another retest right here. So retest number three, September 29. We had another one right here, October 22nd. And then, you know, we finally came back, broke down and dropped all the way down to $15,500. So this range right here is, you know, very, very important for the price of Bitcoin in, you know, the midterm. And I don't think we are going to break above this level, eighteen thousand and eighteen thousand and five hundred dollars. I think this is going to be a massive resistance. You know, this is a huge ceiling, and it is definitely going to take, you know, some serious buyers before we break higher and, you know, begin a new trend. Uh, right now, I think you know if we do get rejected right here, uh, eighteen thousand and eighteen thousand dollars. Uh, in eighteen thousand and five hundred dollars, I think the next leg down is going to be, you know, maybe not similar, but it should have you know the same impact as this one right here. Uh, you can see this one right here, guys. When we went from twenty one thousand, you know, straight to fifteen thousand dollars, so this was a twenty seven percent drop, and if we were to push all the way up into this range right here, you know, a 27% drop will bring the price of Bitcoin all the way down here, guys, to retest that $10,000 and $14,000 range that we've talked about for the last 12 months. So basically, I think what I'm trying to say is that I think we are going to see a continuation of this, you know, short term or midterm uptrend, you know, whatever we want to call it this. But when we approach 18,000 and 18,000 uh, $18, we are going to see a lot of profit taking in this range right here. Now, the next drop should be the final capitulation that brings us into that 10,000 and $13,000 range. And I think that should be able to mark the bottom of this bear market. And in terms of when I actually think, you know, this is more likely to play out, you know, I'm giving myself until March because this is something that is going to take some time. But I think my March time, you know, Bitcoin should have already seen its capitulation. And if you are, you know, bullish on Bitcoin, I think these are the times to continue to accumulate. If we go lower, continue to add on to your position because we are most definitely coming towards the end of this bear market. So that right there is Bitcoin. And this is nothing new if you have been you know, up to date with, with all of my content. And if you watch you know, all of my live streams, uh, this is something that we've talked about I've talked about this, you know, Bitcoin rally towards the end of, you know, December. Uh, this is a video from seven days ago. It is happening right now. 
And I think that we can absolutely see that, you know, 18,000 and 18,000 and 500 dollars in the next couple of days. So subscribe if you are new here. Make sure that you are liking the video because it really does you know, help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you have any project that you would like me to analyze, make sure that you put them in the comment section. All right, so that was uh, Bitcoin right there. Uh, let's move on. I think I spent a lot of time in talking about uh, BTC. All right, so something else. Let's kind of stick with Bitcoin for you know a couple more minutes. Uh, something else that is also worth talking about is that, you know, if you take a look at the weekly Haikinashi candles, let's go all the way back and look at the first uh, bear market and let's count how many weekly Haikinashi candles we had in our first, you know, bear market. Uh, so if you look at if you look right here, as we approach, you know, the end of the bear market, if we exclude this right here, uh, if if we exclude this right here, or maybe we can include it. But if we for now, if we exclude this right here, guys, you had you know one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have 12 consecutive uh, Haikinash, uh, weekly Haikinashi candles. This was our first bear market. Now, if you look at if you look at down here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we had nine consecutive, you know, weekly red Haikinashi candles. Now this was right before, you know, the actual capitulation right here. So the first week we had nine. I think that was nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine consecutive weekly Haikinashi candles. Of course, red. Uh, if we take a look at our second bear market, uh, and we go from right here, we go from right here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we actually have less consecutive, you know, weekly high Kinashi candles. The first week we had nine, second week we had six. I mean, second bear market we had six. Uh, now, if you look at our current bear market right now, let's take a look at where we are. Uh, I mean, so far, of course, you know, if we count these right here, this is over 10. And I don't, I mean, I, I can't really count this because, you know, we have some, looks like we, we have some, you know, green, uh, you know, weekly candles right here. I don't know how many green we are going to see, but if we count these right here, now we can't really count these because uh you know this was not the bottom. So I you know I'm intrigued to see how long this bear market is going to go on. Uh personally I think you know March is definitely going to mark you know the end of this bear market and we should see you know the beginning of the of the reversal to the upside. Uh, it is going to take a lot of time and that is why you know, I want to give it enough time. So, you know, I'm really not, not making unrealistic, you know, predictions. Uh, if, if you look from now until March, 
you know, that is almost about four months if you count the entire December. So if you think about, you know, four months, Bitcoin is working on its uh, capitulation. And if you think about from, from March until, you know, sometimes in September of 2023, now, you know, Bitcoin has already capitulated and we start to see something like this where we are now actually starting to work our way out because this is going to take some work right here, guys. Uh, Bitcoin, you know, starting to, starting a new trend, starting to break out of, you know, this, you know, almost 18 months, you know, downtrend, if you go all the way back to November and put us, you know, all the way up until April. Uh, so let's say this is April right here. Uh, this is, excuse me, March. This is March right here, guys. So if we do get another capitulation, it's something like this. Well, now what I, so something like this, oops, excuse me. So something like this, that brings us to around $10,000. So it is going to take some time, you know, for Bitcoin to climb out. And this right here, you know, is going to take a lot of work. You know, this is going to be months and months where Bitcoin is constantly, you know, grinding out because we do have, you know, a lot of resistance from $15,000 from right down here. We are going to have a lot of resistance, you know, all the way up to $25,000. Right after twenty five thousand, we are going to get, we are going to get a like a brief break from twenty five thousand dollars until twenty eight thousand. But even then, you know, from twenty eight thousand, you know, all the way up to around, you know, forty two thousand dollars, it is going to take a lot of work, you know, for Bitcoin to break above these levels right here, guys. So in terms of where the price of Bitcoin, uh, what Bitcoin is most likely to do from April until, you know, maybe uh, September, it is going to be a lot of work, you know, a lot of, you know, the opposite of what we got throughout 2022. So you are going to see a lot of, you know, small pullbacks, and then a big rip to the upside, another pullback, another big rip to the upside. But, you know, this is going to take months and months to play out. Just like, you know, these, just like uh, these tiny, well, really not tiny, uh, these relief rallies right here, you know, just like they are taking, you know, time, they seem very, very slow and very painful. But on the way down, it's more like an elevator. So we are going to see the opposite, you know, of what we basically have experienced uh, over the last 12 months. But it is going to be, you know, slow and steady, uh, Bitcoin grinding it out. And that is why I think, you know, if we think about where the price of Bitcoin is most likely to be, like where is the peak? of Bitcoin in 2023. I think if we do drop into that 10,000 and $13,000 range, a 28,000 to a $32,000 Bitcoin in 2023 is more likely. But if the bottom is $15,000, then it absolutely wouldn't surprise me to see Bitcoin, you know, trying to retest from 32,000 all the way up to $42,000. That is definitely something that we can see in 2023. If we go to, you know, this range right here, uh 10,000 to 14,000, and let's say Bitcoin goes to $30,000, uh 28 to $30,000 in 2023, that is a move of over 170%. But if this is the bottom right here, and we push all the way up into this $32,000 to $42,000 range, I mean, you're looking at almost 
a hundred percent move. Uh, so you know things to definitely keep you know your eyes on. Uh, this is what I envision. You know, in twenty twenty three, a lot of people are very very skeptical. A lot of people are super super bearish. Uh, but I think twenty twenty three, you know, should be much much better compared to twenty twenty two. But let me know in the comment section, you know, your thoughts on Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin in 2023. Do you think we are going to see a $25,000, $28,000, dollars $30,000 Bitcoin? Or do you think we are going to trade under $20,000 throughout 2023? Put that in the comment section, guys. And again, if you're joining us right now, uh, make sure that you are smashing that like button. Uh, if this is your first time on this channel, make sure that you are subscribing. And of course, liking the video uh, really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to catch me live, uh, make sure that you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I go live. All right, let me quickly uh, read the comments. Uh, Gonzola, let's go Argentina. Yes, congratulations to all the Argentinian fans. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, uh, what's up, bro? Listening and driving, catching the updates. Oh, thank you very much. Safe drive. Uh, Crayola, is that a token? Uh, I really hope Binance doesn't go under. CZ knows what he's doing. Fingers crossed. I, I do agree. I mean, the last exchange that I want to go under, the last exchange that I want to go out of business is Binance. I mean, we are talking about the largest cryptocurrency exchange. Like, if Binance... If Binance... is going to experience what FTX just experienced. This is like literally guys, this is going to push the crypto market back five or 10 years. Like forget about the tokens that you own. If Binance goes under like all these projects right here, I, I honestly, if Binance goes under, a hundred dollar or a fifty dollar Ethereum will absolutely not surprise me. A five thousand or a three thousand dollar Bitcoin will absolutely not surprise me. Like that, that is the impact if something was to happen to Binance. And when you think about, you know, the rest of these projects, like just look at you know BNB. Look at BNB's market cap. Uh, where's the market cap? $43 billion. $43 billion. That is the market cap of BNB right now. So, you know, as much as, you know, as, as much as, uh, as people want to see, you know, a regulated crypto industry, uh, as much as people want to see transparency, you know, at the same time, I think we have to understand you know, the impact if something was to happen to Binance, at least right now, at least right now. Now, in the future, if the cryptocurrency market is, you know, much bigger and Binance is, is only a tiny, tiny, tiny of the overall cryptocurrency market, then something like that, you know, wouldn't be something to worry about. But as long as, you know, Binance is basically like, you know, 40 or 50% of the entire ecosystem, uh, we need to be careful. You know, we, we need to be careful. Again, on your wish list, just make sure the safety of Binance is on top of your list. All right, so... Let's take a look at some other tokens. Uh, that was Bitcoin.
so the CPI, uh, the CPI numbers came in uh, much better than expected. And that is, that is one of the reasons why the market is up today. Oops. That is the reason, I think it is the reason why the market was up today. So not just the crypto market, stocks were higher too. You have uh, stocks rose Tuesday after the release of new U.S. inflation data while trades awaited a key Federal Reserve policy decision. Uh, the Dow Jones climbed uh, 103 points. Uh, S&P 500 uh, broke about $4,000. So the market was up today, basically. Uh, you can see what's happening right here. Now, speaking of the market, uh, one stock that I really worry about, you know, at least in the short term, is Tesla. Uh, I think I recently talked about Tesla and I talked about, you know, the fact, this is a fact that if we broke, you know, this level right here, we're more likely to see a $130 Tesla. And I think that is more likely to happen right now. So if you look at my recent tweet, uh, I knew I talked about Tesla. So Tesla stock, this is from December 8th. Tesla stock does not look good. If the current support of $170 is broken, we could see a $130 stock. So if you look at the chart of Tesla, uh, you can clearly see this is not looking good. Uh, we broke our support right here, and I think we are on our way to you know, $130. Now, you know, this is a stock a lot of people truly believe that it is way, way overvalued. Uh, I know a lot of people that don't believe that Tesla you know, is worth its market cap. And if we were to drop all the way down to $130, if we were to lose this level right here, guys, uh, I mean, I really want you guys to see exactly what I'm looking at right here. If Tesla was to lose, $130. Don't be surprised if the stock is trading between $65 and $88. This is not a prediction, but that is a target that I definitely want you to keep your eye on. Uh, but of course, first and foremost, uh, let's see if we are going to see $130 because that is where. My eyes are just, you know, focusing, uh, you know, focusing on right now, a uh, hundred and thirty dollar Tesla. You can see we broke this level of support right here. Uh, we do have some support somewhere around one fifty four, uh, but it's not much of a support. Let me go back. Uh, if you go to the daily, you can see some support right here. But this is, this is not something that I will, that I will. You know, rely on. Uh, this is much of a you know stronger support right down here in the one thirties. And again, you lose one thirty. You know, you have to you have to welcome with open arms. You know, you have to welcome eighty eight dollars and sixty five dollars. Now, that would be a disaster because in terms of you know what that looks like if you go from the top you know down to where we are right now i mean tesla is down 60 percent and if we were to drop down to 130 that's a 70 percent drop and if we were to go all the way down to 88 uh, that is a 77 percent drop and if we go down to 65 dollars that is an 84 percent drop i mean absolutely ridiculous guys absolutely ridiculous uh but i definitely want you guys because i know a lot of retail investors are extremely bullish on tesla uh, i definitely want you guys to be cautious and if you are you know a long-term investor i think you want to be a buyer in the trenches right here so from 130 you know working your way down oops 
from 130, working your way down, I think this is where, you know, you want to be a buyer. You know, it, getting in right here, guys, you know, a couple years from now, you know, five, 10 years from now, if Tesla truly, truly, truly becomes what many people think is going to become, you know, this is, you know, one of those stocks that can, you know, flip a couple thousand dollars into, you know, tens of thousands, if not hundreds. But that is stock, uh, that is uh, Tesla stock right there. Now let's get back into crypto. So the overall cryptocurrency market cap is now back uh, above $800 billion. And if you look at the chart that we have right here, now, of course, on coin market cap, uh, total market cap is, you know, $867 billion. Uh, within the last 24 hours, we added on $20 billion to the total market cap. Now, you know, something that I'm concerned about is the increase of crypto tokens. Instead of 21,000 cryptocurrency projects, we actually have, you know, 22,000 cryptocurrency projects now. And this number seems to continue to increase and increase and increase. And I think the last thing we need is, you know, many, many crypto projects because many of them don't really have a utility, uh, you know, scams. And I think regulations, you know, definitely needs to crack down on crypto tokens because we should only have, you know, just a few solid uh, cryptocurrency tokens people can actually use. Uh, we want something that provides value, not, you know, something that, that is going to be speculated where people can lose, you know, their life savings. So this is a huge concern, uh, but going back into the chart, you know, you can see the total market cap. Uh, we are currently, you know, already reaching, you know, areas of resistance. Uh, and I don't think we are going to go any, I don't think we are going to go any higher than this. Uh, in terms of where the top could potentially be in the short term, uh, I'm looking at, you know, somewhere around here, uh, $900 billion. Somewhere around $900 billion. So that is 963. And I also have right here around 920 billion dollars so if the entire cryptocurrency market continues to go up if bitcoin goes to eighteen thousand, if ethereum goes to fourteen hundred dollars and if some of these old coins you know does very well in the short term if we get a nice rally in the old coin market you know this is where the total market cap is most likely to top out. And from here on, I think we are going to see, you know, something very, very similar to this. It will be a capitulation that brings us right down here. And this is something we discussed many, many, many times on this channel. I think we will see something like this, guys. Something to keep your eyes on right here. And if you want to make a lot of money, you want to be the person that accumulates right here. This is where the most money is going to be made. You know, the money that is going to 20x, 50x, 100x, who knows, 1,000x is made if you can accumulate right down in this range right here. All right, guys, uh, always, always appreciate you guys. So I hope today's live stream was very educational. Hope this was very informative. I hope you guys learned, you know, something from today's live stream.
the cryptocurrency market is not going to see a bull market anytime soon. What's happening right now is a bear market rally, something that we talked about. And if you don't believe it, I will highly recommend that you watch these videos right here where I talked about where the price of Bitcoin, Polkadot, Ethereum, and a few other projects could potentially be at the end of 2022. It doesn't have to, but looking at the state of the market, you know, this is something that absolutely wouldn't shock me. But I think we are going to get rejected if we approach, you know, areas of resistance, and if we do get rejected, we should see a massive capitulation that puts in the true bottom of this bear market. So thank you guys very much. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday, and I will see you guys next time.